Hello, good evening. How are you all? Sorry, I was on mute and saying good evening. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fine. Yes. Okay. All are here. Shall we start? Or anyone is going to talk? So, who has exam this month? Anshu, ma'am. Good evening. Am I audible? Yes. Yes. Yes, you are. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Anshu, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. Anshu, thank you. Uh, Anshu, ma'am. Thank you so much for this session. It's really <laughs> very important session. Have you to start in India? हाँ जी हाँ जी हाँ जी थैंक्स फॉर ऑर्गेन मींस प्लानिंग फॉर दिस लिस्टनिंग लॉट्स ऑफ यू आस्ट एंड आई वाजेंट एबल टू डू एनी पीपीटी और समथिंग क्योंकि छुट्टियां भी चल रही है घर में सब लोग हैं एवरीवन इज एट हाउस सो आई एम फाइंडिंग इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू डू व्हेनेवर आई गेट अप टू रिकॉर्ड समथिंग माय सन गेट्स अप आई डोंट नो हाउ ही नोस दैट आई एम लीविंग एस टू ही इज इन डीप स्लीप एस टू मैं तो स्टार्ट हेलो वेलकम टू आयल ट्रेनर्स टी स्टार्ट बैं ओके Let's start. Others are joining. They can see the recording and all. We will start. Okay. So first, we'll see some tips, tricks, and all those things whichever you guys like, and then we will do some practice because knowing we don't know, but I'll do some practice and we'll do it together to know how we can solve it. Okay. So first, these are the different types of multiple choice questions that we can get. we have to choose one option we have to choose yes okay we have to choose one option that we will be given a question and we will have four options we need to choose any one or we will be given five options and we have to choose two so which are the two things that speaker is talking about so there will be a b c d e options we need to choose any two and then there will be three Out of seven options, we need to choose three. And out of uh, if, uh, it is very rare, but sometimes we do get that choose five or choose four, and then we will have seven or nine options. That is very rare nowadays, I suppose, but it is a possibility. So you must know. Nowadays, MCQs are uh, increased in our listening as well as in our reading. Reading not that much. but in listening we are getting lots of mcqs some of the student i think got even in map questions they got they had to do mcqs so that is also a type of questions that is something new nowadays so you must know how to tackle in that direction okay so there will be a, a map given and you will have options that uh, uh, where is the cafeteria located and you will have four options whatever you hear you have to choose that best one so if the question says uh, if you move from right from the uh, main hall towards the northeast you will find a cafeteria so if you have a option of northeast you need to select that so this is how mcqs have taken a turn in today's listening okay so these are the types of questions that we get in our listening you have to choose one two three rarely five so the questions will look like this so this is you have to choose one okay out of the four options you need to choose one so which is uh, age group okay which age group is taking increasing numbers of holiday with air travel so when we look at this we know that there is going to be some uh, uh, years that is going to be told in the recording we need to choose the best one whichever is the best answer you need to choose one so when uh, in this type of question where you need to choose only one option okay where you have to choose only one option you need to mark the keyword in the question okay mark the keyword in question not in the option but in the question okay 
so age group taking increasing number of holiday with app so it may be talking about trains buses cars and app so add is a keyword here so we have to do increasing number of holidays so number of holidays with add these are our keywords so when we hear our add number increasing that is the passengers we will hear of course paraphrasing version so increasing number of holidays may be say people are taking more vacations through airplanes or through planes something like that or uh, flight tickets have uh, reduced because more passengers are taking these mode of travel something like that so you will hear a complete paraphrased version or a parallel expression okay so parallel expression means in a negative way they will say something totally opposite but the meaning will be same okay so this is the way in when you have to choose one option from four you have to mark the keyword in the question and when you start hearing the uh, parallel version or synonyms or anything related to that keyword start taking note or if you think that you heard it appropriately you got the option write that or start eliminating so it is mostly that of course there will be distractors so um, like for example the most number of people nowadays are increasing uh, in bus travel however air travel has the maximum passengers so here however was the distractor is change the meaning of the answer so whatever you hear first if you hear any option first or air don't start writing you hear for the distractor if you get these distractors such as conjunctions or your subordinators where whereas but because however yet not this not that something like that then you need to stop uh, you need to stop listen carefully and then go for the answer example if you hear train right train 3142 or increased or decreased so for increased or decreased what you can do you don't have to write everything like increase or decrease you can just write write this increasing decreasing so this is a symbol for you to understand what notes you are taking so whichever you feel that you will be able to understand that sign language you can take as notes do not go for writing everything okay just write the keywords like train so a train decrease so of course train not that add so add uh, mostly old people who are above who have taken half century so half century is 55 so half century you can write more half 50 plus like this you can take notes so that even if you miss something you know that while you are trying to get the correct answer you can check your notes and understand from your notes that which can be the best suitable answer for whichever you are looking for clear okay mm. and uh, yes this is one thing if you heard the answer just go for it okay if you think that you are hearing wrong answer for start eliminating for mcq as i always say this is how i do always i go for elimination method and it has worked all the time okay so i start eliminating the wrong ones i heard a trade train people the most uh, the age category of 31 to 40 people are most fond of taking trains so i know that okay this age group is going by train but our keyword is as so i will just omit it people who are uh below uh below 50 are found of taking bus so i know below 50 something is here below 50 so i will just omit this also below 50 omit this also so this is how we do elimination so when we do elimination our mind always finds the wrong one first it is human mentality that mostly we catch the wrong ones first later on only we find the correct ones 
okay so if you are not getting the right one go and strike out the wrong ones it will help you to get or it will help you at least little bit to arrive at the correct answer with the help of notes and all okay any doubt in this one uh, how to do for uh, uh, when you have to choose one how you have to do you can ask me your doubts clear your doubts then we will move to the next one no ma'am you guys so many doubts you ask and then no ma'am <laughs> if you guys didn't understand do ask mai aur thoda explain kar dungi as you can see i am good at explanations <laughs> no ma'am it's clear it's clear, clear okay clear. everyone is clear yeah, all clear, clear all yes, clear yes. See, yes. don't yes don't yes. feel shy in asking your questions here because later on again i didn't understand if you say it's no use so whatever slight doubt also you have just clarify here but the one thing is that the spe in the speaking session the speed is so fast we cannot write the key marks on no, the no, same you time can write. that is why i suggest that while you are practicing you have to tune yourself in that way i always practice with a pen and a paper even now when i teach or do lectures or when i am teaching you guys about listening or when i am giving any video or audio in listening i always have my note pen and paper here i have trained myself in that way so three skills are needed listening doesn't mean only listening you have to go for listening you have to read the question mark the keyword and also simultaneously write so that is what i right. said you yeah you have to train yourself with some sign post or what you call you can say your own language which you think even if you write so whenever i get increase or decrease i always use this increase decrease i know for me this is what increase or decrease means this is what positive or negative means so such language which you think that this will help you to understand later on what you actually meant to write that language you can use even while practicing you have to practice like that note taking why i emphasize a lot is many times as you said the speaker is speaking very fast uh, when we are finding the answer for question number 11 they will start saying question number 12 so i can't leave question number 12 just because i didn't know what is the answer for 11 so i just write something which i think that it will help me to guess for this number and i'll go to 12 or I'm not written any notes i was just listening and i will miss 12 also because my focus was that i left 11 and my 11 12 both will go okay so instead of wasting my time and my simple mark just take notes and move ahead okay rather okay. than reading the options i never read the options i don't read the options at all for this step we will go for 2 and 3 and then you can see for when you have to choose one option don't read the options look at and mark the keyword and start be ready with your pen and paper and as soon as you yeah, hear that yes as soon as you hear that uh, something related to travel is going on start be ready to eliminate and while eliminating if you clearly hear something that is answering your question here then mark it if you don't hear just cross out the wrong one and you will land into a right answer okay okay yeah but in this question that they, they they are mentioning the ears but uh, whenever you are do doing the listening there are long long uh, sentences and you cannot uh, uh, omit the options there no no you can omit the option because once you know that your answer is here once you start listening to the question okay air travel aa gaya hai then it be, when at that moment when you read with uh, the recording you have to read with the recording the options and one by one it you will start omitting these are mostly in a sequence so it's not a big deal okay you are going to get in a sequence only so don't worry if you leave out one go for the next one and next one and they are going to come in sequence so you know you have to look at option one option b option c like that so you will not miss out 
in the beginning itself you if you read all the options as well as questions you will get confused because we have short tempered yes. memory yes. we yes. have short temper memory and when we are writing exam definitely our mind is under so much stress and it is nervous yes. definitely yes. we will yes. uh, get confused so i always yes. uh, recommend do not read the options for one when you have to choose one then move on to choose two so when we have to choose two like here choose two options which two are the main reasons given for the popularity of the activity is holiday okay here even if you don't mark the keyword just with the you looked at the options once okay it's about friends it's about skills it's about culture and it's awesome. about risk okay so some important keyword you will mark down the important keyword when you have to choose more than one options do not mark your keyword in the question mark your keyword in the options okay you have to mark keyword in the option okay just have a glance which two are main reasons okay i have to listen for the reasons then the recording will definitely say the synonyms or something before going to options it will give you a clue always the mcq questions will give you the clue that i am going to read the options now okay so maybe the recording will start by saying there are copious or there are multifarious uh, reasons why popularity of uh, activity holidays or something okay so some synonym or parallel expression of reasons you will hear so then you have to start looking at the options then okay is it the option is talking about friends are they talking about friends okay whether uh, okay main reason so um, Uh, people love to make friends when they go on a holiday and that is uh, that was thought to be one of the reasons but actually it was found to be something else so here but however are your distractors so you will hear this of course you are in mcq you are always going to hear all the options definitely right so that way you mark the keywords and you are listening okay they are talking about friends what are they talking so yes it was uh, it was uh, the, the main reason but people found it to be wrong something like that so now but is our distractor it is changing the meaning it is changing it is saying that it was not found to be the reason so i have eliminated then maybe they are going to talk about culture some people suggested that culture different learning about different culture was the most sought after reason for going to holidays but research stopped it and said that people can learn even it uh, even on online without going on vacation nowadays due to digital technology something like that okay it's a long sentence but we heard our distractors however researchers have omitted it something so but however yet still unless until because no certainly not all these distractors will change the meaning so when they change the meaning you have to just omit now you have two skills and risk involved so whichever you hear first and which you think they are saying so the two already you have omitted and there will be five so when you have to choose two there will be one more i think so there will be five options so you now you have three so either you are going to get two correct answer or you just have to guess within one so even if you get one correct you are going to get one correct answer there is no negative marking so your chance of guessing is reduced when you omit the wrong ones okay so when you have to choose more than two mark your keywords the important proper noun or important proper verb that is being asked in the options and start listening for that options once you start listening to the options mainly first one will be wrong second will will be right like that so which of the distractors whenever the distractors come listen very carefully and start omitting the wrong ones don't tick the correct ones start omitting the wrong ones very carefully you will be left with one two or three then guessing or writing the correct one is very easy so elimination is very compulsory for these type of questions clear any doubt 
yes now it's much clear and need lots of practice for this yeah practice is only the way to get these strategies you are saying if they, you have to choose one option then you can go for the keywords in the main question hmm. if you have to choose the two question uh, two answers then you hmm. have to go for the answer options and just yes. uh, mark uh, the key uh, keywords hmm. little bit Hmm. And uh, you uh, check the noun and verb there, and if any distractor over there, just omit the options like that. Definitely, distractor will be there. So listen to the distractors very carefully. They are the one that changes MCQ. MCQ का सबसे बड़ा villain, the biggest villain of MCQ distractors. Yes, but because uh, when we are listening, uh, we are uh, just listening the uh, recording. Hmm. We are just. Uh, Uh, checking the we are mm. just clicking mm. the that option yes. we are not uh, focusing on the distractors the yes. what is coming yes and we are more focused on getting the right answer okay learning skill suna did i hear learning useful skill okay did i hear it instead of do, listening for the correct answer start listening for the wrong answer okay so making new friends but it was wrong like, okay definitely but they said so this is not the answer learning about different culture but researchers said no okay definitely this is also not the answer so when you start omitting the wrong one definitely there are going to be three wrong answers and only two correct options so three you will hear with distractors that is some telling something different me so instead of getting confused one that which is right which is wrong start eliminating the wrong ones that is bit easy and it saves time that is my personal experience after writing so many times even this time also that elimination eliminating the wrong ones is easy but getting the correct answer is quite difficult because we are on searching for it ha anti koi dekh lo dekh lo main na zoom meeting mein thi to main okay okay so uh, if okay. Uh, any doubt do ask but this is the simplest thing so for all now choose two uh, even for choose three okay you will have the same area so choose three means you have to mark the keyword in all, all the options and start eliminating the wrong ones same thing okay any doubts in that no these are some reasons why we think that it is uh, difficult mcqs are difficult one is confusion between options which is right which i the i heard this also i heard that also should i go for this should i go for that so uh, for that reason only because this increases our confusion okay so for this reason it is recommended to go for elimination so because when you are eliminating the wrong ones you don't have a confusion you clearly know that they have said but but this that so this is definitely wrong answer so your confusion will become less because you are you have eliminated most of the wrong answers you have only two or three left so guessing work and getting to the right answer becomes much easy and confusion is reduced 80% okay then choices look similar of course every choice looks similar and everything is spoken in the recording so again to eliminate that <laughs> linkers only uh, sorry Uh, elimination only works the best distractors the lovers of listening and haters for you of course they will come in each and every answer they can change the complete answer which is so whenever you hear these distractors i will try to find out the list if i have or i make one and send you the list of distractors that are common in ielts listening so that you can just have a glance to it and then start listening more carefully whenever you hear that but mostly the conjunctions and yes no type of answers change it okay use of synonyms and paraphrasing so if you do not have a sound knowledge of synonyms and paraphrasing then it will become difficult to answer mcqs because everything is said in a paraphrased manner as we saw they will not say number of uh, uh passengers increased in air travel they will say something else you know, different flights started to take more money because they had lots more uh, customers it's a complete parallel expression it's complete differently paraphrased okay so you must be able to comprehend that this line and that line has the same meaning 
सीनोनिम्स तो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम सीनोनिम्स हम पकड़ लेते हैं मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी वी गेट सीनोनिम्स आई डोंट नो हाउ बट वी आवर माइंड इज ट्यून्ड नाउ आफ्टर सो मच टाइम स्पेंडिंग ऑन आईएलएस आई सपोज व्हेन एवर वी हियर सीनोनिम वी आर एबल टू कैच इट बट स्टिल आई थिंक पैराफ्रेजिंग एंड पैरेलल एक्सप्रेशन इज अ मेन प्रॉब्लम दैट मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर अनएबल टू कैच सो Go back to sixth standard and learn comprehensive skill. <laughs> Because paraphrasing is learned only in our comprehension. No, in English we had look at something for uh, increasing your paraphrasing language or technique. I would suggest start reading the you know some philosophical or technical books. They say something, and in one line you will understand something. So. Try to learn all these things. Yes, uh, ready me notes. You want to ask something? Uh, which kind of technical books you are talking about? Can anything, you give me the option? Anything which you which you are not able to understand. It can be from your uh, learning phases. Like if you are a nurse or a doctor, and you find that there will be some lecture, some. Uh, research papers like that okay you will have a research paper and at the end there will be some questions that you have to answer na no? like that papers i suppose there are many in many of the subjects so you can go through them that will help you to answer the questions because question will be in simple language but the paragraphs will be completely out above the mind i i i don't understand even a single word if i read such type of paper but that increases your uh, paraphrasing technique you are able to understand how twisted and turned a simple sentence can be made even olden time novels i think uh, those uh, hindi mein to hamara bahut hota hai english i have no idea but there are if you are a avid reader i think you may know some of the books story books even they have philosophical lines it will mean uh, something very easy very common thing but they will say in a very twisted turn language so even such novels you can read to understand how words are played okay yes i now i got it hmm. yes ready me note you want to say something you have uh, lifted your hand you can unmute and say if you want to ask something and options keep changing options keep changing means due to the distractors the options will keep changing you will think that it was between 50 to 56 years but using the distractors they will change the options to 16 to 24 years so due to distractors the options will keep changing so you have to be very clear with the distractors okay mm -hmm. so these are some simple tips that we all discuss but just keep it in your mind you can read them and keep it in your mind okay you till minute so before you will have some you know first you have some time to look at questions 21 to 25 so look at the questions the speaker itself says look at the questions so don't waste your time looking at the options if you have to choose one for choose 2 and choose 3 of course don't waste your time to get the question just see what you need to see and mark your uh, sorry mark your keyword in their options so always you will hear some before you go to the options you will hear the question in paraphrased way so as soon as you hear the question be ready to jump into the options one by one okay don't run away without you try to understand everything just understand that what you need to listen to that is more than enough try to predict and if you have a heading or something then it will help you to understand the context of the speaker and that will make easy for you to choose your options or listen to the uh, important keywords so look at the heading if it is provided and of course 
don't write the first answer you hear because distractors will come and invite it. And I'll say again the same thing. If you do not get the answer for question number 11, <clears throat> don't waste your question number 12 also. Just move ahead. Listen to 12, 13, 14. Maybe later on with, your, with the help of your notes or guessing or predicting, you may get the answer for one. But because of one mark, do not lose your four or five easy marks. But however, still yet, all these are the distractors, the scary words, the villains. So be careful with them. And this last one is that options. We get A, B, C, D. We do not get one, two, three, four. Very, 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 very. I have not seen till now. It's mostly A, B, C, D. Okay. So you have to write answer. Uh, question number 12A. Question number 14 uh, B. Question number 16 D. Something like that. Do not write the answer. Question number 12, uh, 14 to 56 years. Question number 18, 50 to 56 years. Do not write the option answer. Write the option letter. A, B, C, D. What could do to tackle with one? 1.25 speed. I'm not. Uh, yes, yes. I'm not getting it. You can you repeat it. The answers as we saw, I think we cannot go back. Okay. So let me see. So always the options are given as, okay, question number 21, there will be a question and then you will have option A, 13, 13 years, option B, 16 years, something like that. Okay. C and D. So you will have option. So when in your answer sheet, beside 21, you have to write the correct option letter B. If you write 21, uh, what is that? 16 years. If you write this, your answer is wrong. You will not get marks even if your answer is correct. Okay. Because it says choose the correct letter A to E for question number 21 to 25. So you have to write B. You have to write the letters, not the options. Okay. Now I've got it. Yes. Mm. Always choose a letter. Yes. It always came like, yes. like that. Never choose, yes. never choose the words. No, till the now I have no, till now I haven't seen anything. Okay. And the question for 1.25 speed, don't get scared with 1.25 speed. If you know the correct strategies, you can go about and 1.2 speed. I did not find it very fast. Maybe because I'm used to it. I don't know. But I don't think it's it was that fast. Only the thing is the accent has improved or maybe changed what you can call that. There are variety of accents that I heard. At least seven types of accent I heard in four subdivisions. Okay. So the speed was okay, but the accents were different. And due to different accents, we feel that it is very fast, but that is not the case. I think the speed is still the same. I speak slow, but a native native speaker or an maybe Asian, Chinese or someone, they speak English very quickly. You have to go over because there is our was, all those words are short. They shorten the words and they speak quickly. Their uh, support verbs and all those things are very, uh, very short. So they speak quickly. So it's all about how well you can listen and understand the accent. It's not about the speed. This is what I, this is the reason I took the IELTS again. So this is what I found out. Yes, of course. May I ask my doubt? <laughs> yes. That actually, is Tabu, I think. Yes. Yes. yes mm -hmm. here. Yes, actually, I was thinking, uh, actually, I have two doubts. The first hmm. doubt is, especially in MCQs, I have noticed one thing, like not every time, but most of the time, all the four options are very clearly mentioned in the speaker's speech. Like, hmm. suppose, for example, if it is said about a girl that a father is talking about her a girl who is getting admitted in a school, that she is a newcomer, she knows English very well, she is shy, and she is a bit less confident among the new students around hmm. her. So all hmm. these Provo things are mentioned in the speaker's speak, hmm. like a speech. But ultimately, we have to select one. So sometimes we get confused that, okay, all the options were mentioned. So which one we should go for? What is the question? What did the question ask? 
like uh, maybe something about uh, the girls uh, like behavior or some like, what is, what was the yes. main thing so, which was yeah so in such type of questions definitely there may be a distractor so if okay. it asks what is the main character of the girl the speaker is talking about mm -hmm. so the the answer will be she is a shy person but only at her house mm -hmm. okay or only outside her house okay mm -hmm. though she is uh, uh, well educated still sometimes she doesn't understand mm -hmm. however her best thing to say is that she is very beautiful mm -hmm. so best thing is to say her so yahan pe distractors they use however though although okay. even though the conjunctions mm -hmm. are uh, what do you call these subordinators all these words will change mm -hmm. the meaning but you have to see what the mm -hmm. question asked her best quality or the, the main point that the speaker mm -hmm. is talking about so he is talking mm -hmm. about everything but according to mm -hmm. him the best thing is that she is beautiful okay mm -hmm. the emphasized one yes, the most the emphasized, emphasized one, one. what mm -hmm. according to the questions need according to the question yes all yeah. the options will be told all the mm -hmm. options in all the mcqs will be said but the distractors mm -hmm. and our need will decide the best one okay and one more doubt i have actually it's not a doubt just wanted to know a technique from you because uh, i have tried to like write down a few notes so can you help me with the techniques of writing the notes simultaneously when you are listening so that it can help you later on while deciding for the mcq or that's any what i said your sign language whatever you feel that like i told you for increase and decrease i put arrow mm -hmm. for letters if i write i have to say uh, e r uh, 20 to 25 years or something like that i keep something in mind that i will understand because it's mm -hmm. all about me so language mm -hmm. that you understand the sign language not the complete words but mm -hmm. some abbreviations and short uh, uh, signs that you can mm -hmm. relate to can be written while you are taking the notes and don't write everything mm -hmm. if, if like you said that they were saying the main talk so mm -hmm. they are telling about everything but mm -hmm. uh, shy outside so i will just write out i will put a arrow in the right side that means mm -hmm. for me it is out okay mm -hmm. shy mm -hmm. outside uh, brave mm -hmm. uh, sometimes so i will just write smt mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. uh, beautiful best quality so beautiful i will put a thumbs up or something like that whatever mm -hmm. i will some so this mm -hmm. is how even if i miss out hearing to other things i look at this okay she did this okay the question has asked her best quality something important so the best will show me that okay beautiful is the answer that i need mm -hmm. so your note okay. taking should be in a language that you understand but it should mm -hmm. be very short forms mm -hmm. and in which part it is more like uh, useful in which of the sections or which type of questions it is very important to take note i think uh, three mainly in three we part mm -hmm. one to notes completion that's easy yeah 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 a part mm -hmm. two also very rarely we get so two and three we get but two also i think we can tackle because there are some maps diagrams or sometimes it's mm -hmm. just two people talking so it's easy to mm -hmm. get what is but part mm -hmm. three is a bit complicated because long uh, mcqs yeah long mcqs long options and long talks mm -hmm. okay so it helps part a lot in part three and mm -hmm. section three okay thank you so much thank you uh, yes sada Yes, one by one, I'll answer. Sada, one yes, what's your doubt? Yeah, when they give us time to locate questions one to six, mm. and then when we are done with locating, we mm. still have time. Can we move to seven, ten? Like, so if we do that, is it confusing? If you think that you can handle it well, you can look at the questions. Okay. But if you have time, why do you want to go to next one? Look at the options then. <laughs> if you have so much time left. look at the uh, options sometimes the questions are easy so we tend to look at you can fast. whichever you feel comfortable with at the end mm -hmm. that is how you should tackle these are all our own personal experiences that we share but at the end you have to see how you can put them into best use so it's up to you how to you do that okay yeah and while we are taking notes for mcq So we do not need to read the options when we are taking notes. We just need to write it no, no, on the no. right thing. Yes, yes. Because if we see the option, it just listen to the recording. Yes, you can have a glance mm -hmm. in between and write the record, but do not write each and everything again because it becomes lengthy and you will miss out the recording. What is your trick for the nine band MCQ? 
do you also write notes yes i said no i i do take notes but my notes are very dry no one can understand what i am writing even sometimes okay. i don't understand but yes now i have uh, i write it correctly i use mostly signs because mm-hmm. they are easy to write okay mm-hmm. and i don't write side by side i write no kya bolte usko in ascending orders like 1 2 3 4 horizontally mm so that i know that this this note is for question 1 this note is for question 2 so i don't write like this i write like this so one ka answer yahan sunai diya two ka yahan sunai diya to mera answer as i have to write like this so that i know that this is for one this is for two notes for three so that i don't miss out and get confused even what i have written okay thank you okay thank you yes uh, ma'am my question is not related to listening okay just a second ready me note yes again you have lifted your head, hand please ask your question you are raising your hand but you are not hand, uh, asking okay what's your question savita you can ask yes ma'am my my question is uh, as you have said that these days we have seen uh, in paper and mcqs are more in numbers hmm. so uh, is it is it there for online exam also because i'm planning to appear for online rather than pen online pen. or offline it's same for both okay oh, the, 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 strategy, yes. okay. the question paper remains same for both listening okay because uh, we have seen that in pen and paper test while booking there are more number of dates available rather than uh, uh, pen and paper test so i was expecting ki the paper will be different no 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 it's not different nowadays many people are preferring maybe computer based and it's easy it doesn't allow uh, uh, it doesn't need lots of paperwork and all those things it's uh, handy yes. so that is why everyone is preferring that but there is no difference for paper and pen you get 10 extra minutes so that is a plus point for people writing paper based in listening i don't know about other things in listening you get okay. 10 minutes extra to transfer your answer in computer yes. based you don't get that but uh, uh, both will be means uh, there is no that, problem the level in... and the question paper remains same okay 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 mm-hmm. so it will be advisable to appear computer based i won't advise anything it depends okay. on your speed if okay, you are okay. good at if you are good at writing hand then go for paper if you are good at typing then go for that some people feel listening is good here uh, writing is good there so it depends on how you have practiced how you have tuned your mind and hands to work and of course which one gets you better marks during mocks <laughs> thank you ma'am thank you yes okay so anyone else okay so let's do one practice and then we can end our session okay yes ma'am okay so here are the questions okay so so how you have we have to tackle here multiple choice question so here we are going to choose one okay we are going to choose one option so so when we have to choose one option how we have to do we have to mark the keyword in the question okay so one reason why spiros felt happy about his market perceivers okay so reason for happy okay reason for happy is my keyword so i have marked my keyword surprised hirko after she gave up as a hirko felt so feeling presentation feeling per feel about his tutorial okay? feeling in tutorials so here you can say presentation feeling and tutorial feeling they are two different but almost same so you must be very clear what you are hearing okay why can't the other student participate so easily in discussion okay so why easily discussion so this is how you should mark your options and please give any general topic writing question related to content mark see the question the writing task two writing task two is same for both yeah okay writing task is same for both general and academic so whatever i uh, questions i give it's for ge- both general and academic 
okay so there is no difference between general and academic writing task 2 so i hope that is clear okay general topic writing questions 20 march <laughs> 20 मार्च का मेरे को मैं फोन करती हूँ उनको भैया ओके आई लास्ट हिम इफ ही गिव्स मी आई ट्राई टू सेंड यू एंड इफ ही डजेंट गिव मी आई कैन डू इट बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली आई डोंट प्रिफर प्रिडिक्शन आई प्रिफर ऑन प्रिपरेशन वाह क्या डायलॉग है चलो कोई नहीं सो लेट्स प्रैक्टिस ओके ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज बी रेडी या Well said, well said. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, because I, I, I don't. If you are, if you know the structures, you know the vocabularies. If you know the strategies, techniques, and everything, then cheating is not the correct way. So be prepared. Yeah. Baki, it's it depends on luck. I would not. I am sharing with you as he told, and you guys are so desperate. All, but Sapna, ma'am, already has shared in many places. I don't know how much true that is. But if you want, you can go and check that as well. I have no knowledge about it. Mute, 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 mute. Okay. So, uh, it uh, if you want, you can see and if um, to give you some satisfaction, I will also share. But I wouldn't say that <laughs> yes, it's hundred percent or something like that. Yes, ready me note is trying to unmute yourself. Yes, if you want to ask some questions, you can ask. Uh, or we will start with practice. Please have a pen and a paper. Atyo, yes, sister, you want to ask something? Hello. Yes, yes. Hello. Yes, uh, I am finding difficulty in writing. Uh, how to correct yourself in grammatical mistake? Your name? My name is Mithilesh. Mithilesh, we are doing listening now today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Writing what writing issues that we can we can have on some other day, right? I'll try to yeah. have on Saturday or some other day before the exam. The twenty eighth, who kisi ka exam hai? Who has to, uh, exam on twenty eighth? I mean, that's on twenty eighth March. Kiran, you have exam on twenty eighth? <laughs> no, ma'am, my exam uh, will in twenty first April. April. Tab tak tum bhej dete koi nahi. Then Saturday we will have a writing session. Okay, now we will complete with the listening. time okay okay thank you thank you thank you yes mine is okay kiran i'll try to send i'll ask him if he gives me i'll give you today if he doesn't give me i'm sorry <laughs> i don't know what uh, that is okay okay so let's start be ready with pen and paper and we will listen Can you guys see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Three. Yes. Two overseas students. Okay. Can you hear the recording? Is it audible? Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 ma'am. Okay. Yes. So uh, let's start. Okay. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Just a second. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to start. Please be ready. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yes. Start. Please, everyone, go on mute so that everyone can listen. Okay. So begin. Section three. Two overseas students called Spiros and Hiroko. Have just finished the first semester of their university course. To twenty-five. So when you have given time to look at questions twenty-one to twenty-five. then you need to look at only questions and mark the keywords do not go for the options but as sada said if i have time if you have time you can go for the options but better not to now listen carefully 
and answer questions 21 to 25. Before we start, Spiros and Hiroko, thanks for coming in today to talk about your recent study experiences. And congratulations to you both in doing so well in your first semester exams. I'd like to discuss. This course you did here last year before starting your university course. Uh, Spiros, if I could start with you, what parts of the program have now proved to be particularly valuable to you? Um, I think that having to do a seminar presentation really helped me. For example, a couple of weeks ago in our marketing subject, when it was my turn to give a presentation, I felt quite confident. Of course, I was still nervous, but because I had done one before, I knew what to expect. Mm. Oh. Okay, so did you guys hear how he said? He said everything, right? But in the beginning itself, he said the correct answer. When sometimes back I was doing marketing presentation, I felt happy, but in the starting, I was nervous too. Okay, so you have to listen to the distractors very carefully when you are listening to these options. Because I had done one before, I knew what to expect. Mm. Also, I know I was well prepared and I had practiced my timing. In fact, I think that in relation to some of the other people in my group, I did quite a good job because my overall style was quite professional. What about you, Hiroko? Oh, that's interesting. In my group, I was really surprised by the way the students did their presentation. They just read their notes aloud. Can you believe that? They didn't worry about their presentation style or keeping eye contact with their audience. And I remember that these things were really stressed to us in the course here. So how did you approach your presentation? Well, to speak frankly, I read my notes too. At the time, it was a relief to do it this way, but actually when I had finished, I didn't feel any real sense of satisfaction. I didn't feel positive about the experience at all. That's a pity. You know, although I was pleased with my presentation, I am not so pleased with my actual performance right now in the tutorials. During the whole semester, I've not said anything in our tutorial discussions. Not a word. Really, Spiros? Why is that? Do the other students talk too much? It's partly that, but it's mostly because I have had no confidence to speak up. Their style of speaking is so different. It's not the style we were used to during the course. They use so many colloquialisms. They're not very polite. And sometimes there seems to be no order in their discussion. Also, they are very familiar with each other. So because they know each other's habits, they can let each other into the discussion. You're right. OK. <clears throat> so did you all get the answers? <laughs> yes, somewhat. <laughs> somewhat. No, actually, a few words I was not able to hear. Uh, the last question, I know that it is B, but I have mentioned C. May I know why it is not C? So, which one you are asking? So, first one is B, 20 second is C. Yes, correct. Then D, then A, then 25 is C. Yeah, the 25th one. Yay. The 25th one actually uh, is C, whether it is C? Yes, it's C. Okay, then, then I wrote C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, okay, then it's fine. Uh, okay. Because they say, why can the other students participate so easily in discussions? So first he said, they agree to take turns. He said, no. Then he said, they are not polite. They are not very polite. So they are not polite. He said the opposite things. Here the option is saying, they are polite. So it's contradicting. And then because they know each other well, they mingle with each other and talk. Okay, so this is what he's saying. Why they have easy discussions? Because they know each other well. How many of you got good? Uh, me. Uh, so here 21 is one reason why Spotify happy was because his 
style was good okay option b he said he was not nervous the presentation was best he thinks that his presentation was best in the group because his style was good okay one of the best he did not say was the best he said i feel that it was one of the best so one of the best and the best are not the same thing so that is why option c cannot be the answer okay 22nd is c they did she said everything okay it was not interesting they found their presentation stressful they did not found their uh, presentation stressful but the hiroko found it to be very stressful okay so here again the uh, information is different here they are asking what surprised hiroko about the other students they found their presentation stressful but the speaker is uh, saying that i found it to be very stressful they didn't look at the audience enough they did not have an eye contact with the audience she said something like that enough eye contact so that is why c is the answer so again the paraphrasing version she did not say the same thing the paraphrasing version eye contact was not that then after she gave her presentation hira uh, hiroko whatever her name is okay she felt dissatisfied okay i was not satisfied with this she did not talk about embarrassment i was not happy so not happy means delighted also cannot be the answer okay i was not satisfied dissatisfied and not satisfied these are called parallel expression okay negative way satisfied or dissatisfied and not satisfied so this is what parallel expression is about so b and the 24th is a not very happy so though i did good presentation but in this tutorial tutorials i have not done enough i fairly confident i am not feeling confident he said i i am not at all happy i am not feeling confident and he did not talk about please i think not very happy i am not satisfied i am not quite uh, uh, happy about my performance so he said not very happy so that is the answer and last one is c because they know each other they mingle very quickly okay so is it clear uh, were you able to put those uh, uh, elimination elimination methods and get the answers or how whichever you feel that it was easy for you go with that so if you guys have any doubts do ask we'll clarify and then later on i'll send this video as well so whatever the practice questions are remaining you can do and then ask me your questions if you have okay okay thank you uh, any doubts no ma'am i have one question <laughs> yes in final exam if i uh, write listening answer all in uh, Caps. capital letter capital letter fine. then that is fine then, yes then if i write uh, uh, reading in small letter and capital letter mix is it any problem is there any problem no 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 not no problem at all it's about modules listening in caps reading your wish uh, okay. separate separate modules in between you should not change have okay. section 1 in uh, capitals section 2 in small letters then section 3 in capitals that is not advised no ma'am i ask about reading uh, anything it's different different modules it's fine no worries okay ma'am thank you ma'am okay okay uh, thank you sisters i'll complete this and then i will send you then you guys can do it okay any doubts or is it clear yeah. yes ma'am yeah. uh, okay yeah. hello yeah hello yeah, yes ma'am i have a, a doubt yes and um, when we uh, write answer we should write uh, small letters and big letters capital letters like either everything in capitals okay, okay. or okay. if you are writing small letters only yeah. the proper nouns or the punctuation that you say you should be correct that is after full stop capital letters the name of any place animal thing or something like that in capital letters so you have to understand the punctuation clearly if you are writing in lower letters yeah 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 thank you so how many of you got all five correct ma'am i do got 
all five but i've already practiced this before maybe because of that okay no worry um which is the best platform currently to practice listening actual test ias online test which is i i know about that only mm -hmm. part 4 filling gaps that one is completely about paraphrasing okay it's completely about paraphrasing and parallel expression you will hear everything upside down because it's a long academic presentation that is they will be giving you a lecture so you must be able to catch the exact word that you want to give in the answer for this prediction plays a very important role so look at the it to predict what part of speech do you need to fill in that gap that helps a lot to grasp whatever the speaker is saying i always face problem with singular and plural sometimes i uh, write uh, singular instead of plural sometimes write plural instead of singular that, i have always that problem that is lack this. of concentration i would say there is no strategy for that it's a lack of concentration but yes one thing that you can do is you can look at the sentence and the options if you are not getting the word is it written is was or are were these support verbs may help you to get the correct answer okay may help you but most of the time i think it's all about your concentration of listening that word as i cannot I handle it i always make mistake here <laughs> listen carefully and look at this word is our was where try to have even before also i told you i think look yes, at yes. these words these will help you to guess whether it is s or not because if it is it it has then definitely it ke sath s word nahi aayega maybe okay so okay. it he she or singular things they uh, us uh, people so if plural word comes of course s will not be there So same like writing. If it is it that or he was going or a monkey was eating banana. Okay, a monkey was eating banana. So according to the noun and pronoun, you decide your verb. The form of if it is singular, then you have to put s. If it is plural, you don't have to put s. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, please take a diagram session also if you could in the future. Mm. Okay. Someone asked me for this, and I she is not here itself. I think. Oh no, Zarifa. Okay. I'll try to take if possible. I'll try to take. Okay. 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 You. I hope uh, MCQ is now a bit clear. Now it's all about practice. So practice as much as possible with these uh, strategies. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. I love you. Bye bye. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions twenty six to thirty. Now listen and answer questions twenty six to thirty. For most of this semester, I've said absolutely nothing in tutorial. But recently, I've been trying to speak up more, and I just jump in. And I've noticed an interesting thing. I've noticed that if they thought my point was interesting or new, then the next time they actually asked for my opinion. and then it was much easier for me to be part of the discussion oh that i hope that happens for me next semester i'll have to work hard to find some interesting points what helped you to find these ideas i think that one thing that helped me with this was the reading i've had to do so much reading this semester just to help me make sense of the lectures at first i couldn't understand thinking about 
so I had to turn to the books and journals. Every night I read for hours, using the lists of references that were given, and I made pages of notes. At breakfast I read and read my notes again. This habit has helped me to follow the ideas in the lecture, and it's also given me some ideas to use in the tutorials. But I did so much reading anyway. I don't think there's any time left over for anything extra. My reading speed is still quite slow, though I'm much better at dealing with vocabulary than I used to be. What else do you think we could add to the course program to help the problem? Hmm, uh, there's not really anything because it's my problem. I remember we were given long articles to read. We didn't like that, but now I realize that reading those long articles was good preparation for the things I need to read now. Also, uh, in class, we regularly had speed reading tasks to kept a record of our reading speed, so the teachers were encouraging us to work on that. That's true, Spiros, but what we read could have been different. Sometimes in the English class, I felt frustrated when I had to read articles about the environment or health or education, because I wanted to concentrate, but we didn't read anything about engineering. So I think I wasted some time learning vocabulary I didn't need. Mm, but surely the strategies you were taught for dealing with that vocabulary were helpful? Yes, but psychologically speaking, I would have felt much better working on reading from my own field, think Spiros. Oh, I agree. That would have helped my confidence too, and I would have been more motivated. It was good, though, that we could work on our own topics when we wrote the research assignments. Okay. Let's move on to writing now. And, uh... That is the end of section. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section 4. You will hear a woman inquiring about a media studies program. First you have some time to look at questions 21 to 25. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 25. I'm looking for some advice about doing a master's degree in media studies. Am I at the right place? Yes, my name's Mark. I'm head of the media studies course. Nice to meet you. And you are? I'm Louise. Nice to meet you too. So how can I help you? Well, I've seen the prospectus for the course, but I'm still a bit confused about a few things and about some of the options for studying. What's your situation at the moment? Are you working? Yes. I've been working as a journalist for a local newspaper for the last three months. Prior to that, I had two jobs in the media, at a small local radio station for about two years and at a TV station for about four years. So I've worked in media for about six years in total. OK, well, that's useful if you want to do the course. What's your motivation to do further study? I enjoy my job a lot at the moment but I feel the opportunities for promotion are quite limited. It's not that I think a master's will help with this, though. I'll probably leave my job, 
maybe to go into TV or something, but basically I think wherever I end up going in the future, employers prefer to see someone with postgraduate qualifications these days. And are you intending to study full time? Well, I'd really like to keep working as I need an income. What are the options for me if I want to work while studying? You could do certain modules over a number of years if you like. It's up to you how many you do. Basically, you get credits for the ones that you complete. People usually do the masters in anything from 18 months up until four years. It depends on your time. If you wanted a fixed schedule and attendance and did it part time, then that would be a total of three years. So, what's the admission criteria to join the course? Well, there are a few things that are useful but not essential. But there are some requirements. Usually, to join a master's, people must have a bachelor's degree. But we are prepared to overlook this if someone has enough work experience. But you must have one or the other. It's useful if you have research experience, as you have to complete a thesis. But we can train you on this if not. It is essential that you have motivation if you want to join the course, as it is very demanding. Unit twenty five. Lesson forty nine. Exercise. You'll hear the introduction about a little dolphin, Pino, arrived in the marine park. There once was a lovable little dolphin called Pino. He used to live in the big open sea where he was born. But one day, when he was seven years old, he was caught and sent to live in a marine park. He was such a clever little thing. He learnt new tricks much faster than the other animals, and many people, young and old, came from miles around to see him perform. He could shoot up into the air, jump through hoops, dance on the surface of the water, play with a ball, shake hands with people. And many other things besides. In time, people came to the marine park just to see him. He became a big star, and every day coachloads of tourists arrived with one thing in their mind: to see Pino for themselves. He was especially good with children. He even let them swim in the water with him and hold on to his fin while he swam around. He was so patient and gentle. That parents were perfectly at ease seeing their children splashing around with him. Pino had a trademark, a thing he always did at the end of every performance. When he had finished amazing people with his tricks, he would incline his body and wave his right fin as if to say goodbye to all the people. Everyone remarked how human-like he was. It was as though he got genuine satisfaction from his job. Unit twenty five. Lesson fifty. Exercise. One month later, Pino was ill. People in the marine park want to find out the cause. But one day, after only one month had passed, Pino suddenly became very ill. The marine park veterinarians tried everything they could, but they couldn't work out what was wrong. They changed his diet. They changed the water in his pool. They gave him every kind of medicine, but nothing worked. Soon Pino became much, much worse, and eventually. He stopped eating altogether. They decided he needed to go to hospital. At the hospital, they did numerous tests to determine the cause of his illness. One of the tests was an X-ray. The X-ray showed an object in Pino's stomach, and they wondered if this was the root of the problem. 
they decided to perform an operation straight away. When they cut his stomach open, they found inside a piece of jagged metal which had caused a festering wound inside him. No wonder he had been so ill. Poor Pino! They removed the metal and then waited and prayed that he would recover. Pino did wake up, but the operation had come too late. He opened his eyes, inclined his body, and waved his right fin, giving them his very last goodbye. He closed his eyes again, and an hour later he passed away. All the people who had worked with him cried so much, their eyes became red and sore, and all those who had come to see him perform at the zoo were very sad to hear the news. No one felt like celebrating anything for a long time after, or watching the performances of the other animals. In his honour, they decided to place a statue of Pino at the marine park in his most famous pose, inclining his body and waving his fin. Safe Insurance Company promotes an insurance to university students in the UK. You can never think too much about personal safety, and we at the Safe Insurance Company dedicate ourselves to helping other people prepare for any financial problems that might happen to any one of us in the future. Although most of you still technically live at home with your parents, it is still a good idea to insure yourselves. You can buy different kinds of insurance. Home contents insurance for the things in your home. Life insurance for if you are killed. Car insurance and health insurance for if you are sick. Most students are only interested in home contents insurance. I am sure many of you have expensive computers and cameras that you want to protect. Our insurance policies can give you peace of mind. You can insure for a minimum of £5,000. That costs £10 per month. Or you can insure for a maximum of £10,000, which costs just £15 per month. If something is stolen, you can give us a call 24 hours a day and we will help you make a claim. Remember though, you need a police insurance number first to make a claim, so you must also notify the police of something having been stolen. This is to stop people making false claims. Also, we don't insure for flood damage, so if your things are destroyed by water, then unfortunately we can give you nothing. You are obliged to make sure your house is safe and locked, or we might not give you all your money. We also have a special insurance for student car drivers. If you don't make an insurance claim for 12 months, we give you a no claims bonus. This means that your insurance for the following year is reduced by 50%. That can save you a lot of money. If you need to make a claim at any time, we promise to pay you the money within 72 hours. Unit 24 Lesson 48 Exercise You'll hear members of a campus radio station are holding a meeting to discuss fundraising to support a contest selecting the most charming voice and what kinds of companies will be interested in supporting them so as to plan further actions for promotion. The most important thing is to find a sponsor for our Most Charming Voice Contest. I think we should ask companies with an interest in the topic. What kind of companies might those be? Mainly media companies, I guess, like television and radio stations. OK, so we need to make a list of all the radio and television companies, send them a letter and hope we get something from them. Maybe they could show the contest on their station. It would be great if they could. We need to think of other ways of fundraising. We could make contestants pay a small fee. We don't want to deter people from joining the contest. I know, just a small fee, 
Maybe one dollar. That seems reasonable. If we have a lot of contestants, that will actually raise a lot of the money we need. How about we raise money by getting listeners to our campus radio to send text messages, voting for their favorite voice? We can charge ten cents for each vote. I think that's a great idea. Maybe the student union will provide some funds for us. We should ask them for help. Yes, we should definitely do that. It's their job to look after our welfare and support everything we students do. What else can we do? Well, most importantly, we should try to do everything on as small a budget as possible.